What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video we're gonna talk about probably the hardest way right now to make gold in the war within and before we do so big thank you for all the support on the zero to 10 million gold guide. It's been absolutely insane since the release of war within and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying the updates. This is a digital guide, which means that every single time there's new content added to WoW, I will update the gold guide with the latest uh, version and send that straight to your email completely for free for life. It contains the best tactics and methods that I personally use in order to achieve hundreds of millions of gold. So if you think that sounds interesting, you can check it out with the link down below in the description. And by using the discount code STUDENT, you'll get it for 50% off. So the way of making gold that's hottest right now, a lot of you guys have probably already guessed it, but it's farming uh, the uh, the new raid and trying to get yourself some fresh epic BOEs. Now, these epic BOEs have a really high value. I mean, obviously, the value on these items will keep on going down until Mythic is released uh, next week, and then obviously the Mythic BOE items will be the Holy Grail compared to Heroic, Normal, and LFR. But there's a lot of misconfusions about uh, these epics, uh, first of all, uh, one that a lot of people get hung up in is this post right here on Icy Veins, which says the following about BOE items in the new raid. BOE items drop from lieutenant enemies once per week per difficulty. Trash mobs will no longer drop BOE items in the war within. Like, none of this is true. I, uh, I joined this really bad group right here that you guys can see on my screen. And, uh, the, like, I myself got an epic BOE item from, like, just the, the smallest mob. It wasn't a lieutenant mob, it wasn't a big mob. It was just one of those random small mobs uh, ahead of the first boss. Also, a lot of people claim that you cannot get epics ahead of the first boss because it's worked like that in previous raids. Also not true. Now, the way that you do it is you just open up, like, if you want to farm this, is you just simply go into your uh, group finder in-game. And uh, it's there's like a million groups for this. You can go pre-made group, you can click on raids, find groups, and there's so many different uh, groups up that's farming trash uh, on this one. Uh, a lot of people are going to be uh, running just the uh, mobs ahead of the first boss, like you see us do in this pool right here. And that works. We got lots of epics. There was even people getting two epics, like same difficulty on heroic. And the same guy got two epics. So the problem you're going to encounter if you run it on heroic mode and the trash only ahead of the first boss is that after like 25 minutes, you're going to be locked out for the raid. And you have to wait like 35 minutes before you can re-enter again. Now, yes, there is ways where you can work around this dungeon lockout, but that is considered an exploit though. So a lot of people are just killing the first boss or getting into a save where uh, the first boss is killed. And then they're going to grind uh, the trash, like kill all the trash, run out of the raid, and then reset the raid, run back in, and just constantly kill the trash. So these items are obviously going to be very, very expensive. As mentioned, I myself managed to get one on like my second run. I got these boots right here. So super excited about that. But you can see the heroic items, they range on my full pop realm anywhere from 750 and all the way up to a couple million gold each. 603 is normal. They go for like 150 to 500,000 gold. Really depends on the items. And then lastly, uh, you got the 590 items, which is from LFR, which has, like, surprisingly enough, a similar uh, price to, uh, to the heroic items. So the Holy Grail... Uh, of these items is going to vary on your realm. I've seen a lot of people uh, sell the uh, the ring really fast. Like the ring uh, has been selling really fast for a lot of people. This one right here. Versatility master with the socket. But uh, every realm is going to be different. Also, if you get an item and you play in a full pop realm. And you notice that you have super bad prices. You can bring these to whatever realm you want. to Just throw them in the war bank. And then take them out on whatever realm you're interested in selling them on and uh, hope for a bigger sale. But definitely, even if it takes you 10 hours of farming trash in the raid before you get an epic BOE, like, the gold per hour is still going to be insanely good because you're able to sell the item for, like, a lot of gold. So if you do heroic, 
and you get an item that you can only sell for 750,000 gold and it took you 10 hours, you still made 75,000 gold an hour on average. So uh, definitely go to the group finder, find yourself uh, um, a group to run a raid. Doesn't really matter if you do uh, the raid before the first boss or on a, like an ID where the first boss has been killed. But if you want to run it like more than 10 times uh, and more than an hour at a time, I definitely advise you to find a group that has killed the first boss or is going to kill the first boss before it clearing, uh, clearing trash. So if you guys have done this already and you've gotten some cool items, especially if you sold these items, please let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, that was pretty much it for this video, but subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to see more gold making related content for the war within. And of course, if you want to see all my videos, even before they get posted publicly on YouTube, you can consider signing up to the VIP Discord, which is pretty much like a Patreon, but it's a bit simpler because everything happens on a Discord server that you get invited to. And on that server, you can watch all my videos before they go public on YouTube. And you also get access to exclusive content in forms of gold tips. There's spreadsheets, investments, prioritized invites to my group farms, and much, much more. But that's together with the Zero to 10 million gold guide in the description. Appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you all back in at the next one. Until then, bye-bye.